She just ran to the store. Yeah, for her daughter, and uh, she was on her way back. There's still so much grief for Valerie and Roger Williams after Betty Sandlin was killed in a head-on crash. Betty was Roger's sister and Valerie's sister-in-law. If you were hurting, she was right there. Uh, like I said, just like I think a typical sister should be. But It was last Tuesday, just before 4.30 in the afternoon, when Betty was hit head-on by an oncoming minivan. State troopers say the van crossed the center line on Dixie Highway in Franklin Township. Now a cross sits there in her memory alongside a broken pole. Investigators say the van's driver will face a traffic charge, but they are working to see if more charges are warranted. And when you read in the paper, a woman killed, and it's like, it just wasn't a woman. It was Betty Sam. It just wasn't a woman. You know, it was, it was Betty. Betty's this one, uh, I think it's right there. Betty's this Betty, one. Betty, Larry, and then that's me. Valerie and Roger have made collages for Betty's funeral. The 67-year-old was a wife of 46 years, a mother, and a grandmother. They say she was happy-go-lucky, remembering her first trip to the beach and her way of always bringing the family closer. But we loved our Betty. We definitely did. Now, memories fill a gap left behind by tragedy, and Betty's family waits for justice. I don't have an answer. And, you know, will Betty get an answer? I don't know. Now, we haven't been able to get an update on the conditions of the driver and passenger in the minivan, but we're told at last check they were taken to the hospital with serious injuries. State troopers say they are investigating if drugs or alcohol were involved. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.